Valley, a small village town has grown into a small town with an elevation of about 2,000 meters above sea level. It is one of the coolest places in Sabah with temperature dropping to 13 Celsius at night. Besides being within close proximity to Mount Kinabalu National Park, Kundasang itself has grown into a popular leisure destination with many resorts in the vicinity. fresh vegetables and plantations and farms suitable for temperate climates. Kundasang is also associated with the infamous this March, which took place near the end of 1945, over 2,500 Australian and municipals died in Sandakan. Kundasang is popular among locals from around Sabah, especially during weekends and public holiday. So, if you are planning a visit during this time, do book in advance as a accommodation in almost all lodging would be full. The nearest big town is right now located about 20 km east. The proximity to Mount Kinabalu allow for amazing view mainly in the morning time. Kunasang is located on the main road between Kota Kinabalu 100 km and Ranau 6 km after Mount Kinabalu Park entrance. This drive is easy from Kota Kinabalu with a mostly decent speed to mid road and adequate signposting. It does become mountainous and windy on approach but also very scenic. The journey from Kota Kinabalu is about 90 km until 100 km and takes approximately 2 hours depending on how confident you are overtaking very slow trucks doing 20 km per hour. Exercise patience and caution as locals do overtake on blind corners, over double lines and occasionally with oncoming traffic. So that you can go to Kota Kinabalu by bus. Bus from Kota Kinabalu or Ranau are available and by taxi also available. Long range taxi from Kota Kinabalu or Ranau and another option. Hi! Okay, so we have three main attraction in Kundasang Sabah, which is Kundasang War Memorial, Mount Kinabalu, and Kundasang Desa Cattle Dairy Farm. Firstly, Kundasang War Memorial. It is located in Kundasang Sabah, which is dedicated to the British and Australian soldiers who died in the Sandakan POW camp during their death march to Ranau. Next is Mount Kinabalu. It is the highest mountain in Borneo, the Malay Archipelago and Malaysia. With an elevation of 13,435 feet, it is the third highest peak of an island on earth and 20th most prominent mountain. The mountain and its surroundings are among the most important biological sites in the world. With between 5,000 to 6,000 species of plants, 326 species of birds and more than 100 mammalian species identified. Among this rich collection of wildlife are famous species such as the gigantic Rafflesia plant and orangutan. Mount Kinabalu has been accorded UNESCO World Heritage status. Lastly, Desa Cattle Dairy Farm that owned by the Desa Cattle Sabah Sendirian Berhad. It is located at the foot of Mount Kinabalu in Kundasang Valley, where most of Sabah's cow milk and dairy products been produced. The farm covering an area of 199 hectares and has been frequently dubbed as Sabah's Little New Zealand. With geographic panorama scenery view, almost look alike in the Lake Country. So, what is interesting about this place? Okay, after you arrive at Mount Kinabalu, you can see and feel the beautiful and refreshing environment. For your information, uh, the original surface of Mount Kinabalu consists of sedimentary rocks that have been have been exposed to erosions for eight to twelve million years. Mount Kinabalu has areas of fill uh, the three rock cap forest, upper the three rock cap forest. Uh, mountain forest and also mountain forest that why uh, at Mount Kinabalu have a very fresh air beside that um, you can learn 
and know about the belief of the people who live there. For example, the Kadazan Dusuns ha- who live around the Ka- Kundasang and Ranau province in Sabah have described themselves uh, as a guardians. In the uh, in the area, we can also enjoy the beautiful scenery, which is a very pleasant, as people say, cool looking eyes. It's suitable for taking a picture with a loved person to create a beautiful memory. Um, so in Dairy Farm Village, we can see black and white cattle are a kind of overseas cattle. Usually, um, the cows in Malaysia are. Brown or slightly white, uh, cream white. Hi, so I have interviewed one of my close friend that had been go to Gundasang before. I interview him through phone call because we cannot meet face to face during this lockdown. So here are the record. Hi. Hello. Hi. Okay, who is this? Um. Can you give me some review about Kundasang? Ah, uh, sure. Uh, have you ever been go to Kundasang? Ah, uh, yes, I've been to Kundasang. Okay. Yeah. So, which part of Kundasang you like the most? My my favorite place is uh, the Desa Dairy Farm. You know? Oh, Desa Dairy Farm. I see. And why? Ah, uh, because. Uh, you see, it's like it's like New Zealand, but it's in your country. Okay. And the air there is so fresh too. It's very clean. I love their cows. It's very high quality. Yeah, that's why I like it. Okay, I see. If you have chance to go Kundasang again, where else would yeah. you like to go? Uh, I would like to visit the. Uh, the market in the town, in the in the center of the town. Okay, why? Um, because it sells various different stuff, like native to the area only, and that's all I think. Oh, okay, I I see. Okay, thank you very much for your review. So, um, no problem. Yeah, thank you for give your time for me. Bye. Bye. Kinabalu is one of the highest mountain in Southern Asia and it is easily tracked by most people. But the climbing fee of Mount Kinabalu for one person is around 1,280 ringgit for Malaysian and 1,580 ringgit for tourists. These costs are included for transportation, accommodation, meals, tour guide and others. In addition, the best time to climb Mount Kinabalu is between March and August, which are the dry season of Sabah. You can climb in other months, but try to avoid December and January, which are the wettest months due to monsoon season. The most important is, you must book at least 6 months in advance. Also, only book through listen local tour operators such as Amazing Borneo Tours based on Sabah Tourism Board for safety reason and Beware of scam website operated by outno organization. The next place is Kundasangwa Memorial. The memorial is divided into four interconnecting continuous areas, which is the Australian Garden, the English Rose Garden, the Borneo Garden, and the Contemplation Garden and Pool. Uh, most popular time to visit this place is 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. And the entry fee is 3 ringgit for Malaysian and 10 ringgit for tourists. They say they reform Kundasang. The opening hours for this place on 8 am until 5 pm. In addition, the milking time is every day 3 pm to 5 pm. And the processing time is every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 10 am until 2 pm. Then, for the ticket fee, it is the same price bought for Malaysian and tourists, which is 5 ringgit. If you go to calf feeding, you can purchase milk at 1 ringgit 50 cent per bottle.